Hi, I'm Veronica with Clover, and today we're going to work with Clover's Tassel Makers, available in a size small and large. Our tassel makers are adjustable frames that allow you to make a variety of sizes. Now the size small tassel maker allows you to make uh, tassels a little over an inch, up to two inches, and the large size allows you to make tassels that are two and three eighths of an inch up to a four inch size. And to get started, you would first start, you would set up your frame. And you can see on the side of the tool, there's these little notches, and that's just a guide to help you set up the size that you'd like to create. So once you know what size you're gonna make, you would just adjust the frame, turn the knobs, and your frame is ready uh, for your thread. So the great thing about having the different sizes is that you actually have the option to use a variety of fibers. So you can work with some uh, yarns or embroidery threads, it's really up to you. And then also uh, it's up to you on how many times you want to wrap your thread around the frame. If you wanted a really full looking tassel, you would do wrap it more times. You wanted something that looked a little bit thinner, you wouldn't have to wrap as much. But typically we do 20 to 30 wraps around the frame, just like this. Now when I started, I started my thread, I, I stuck it right here in the frame. And when I finish, I do the same thing on the other side. And it just kind of holds your thread in place so nothing gets loose. So just like that. So another tool that we have that works great with the tassel maker is our handy thread twister. And the handy thread twister allows you to create your own twisted threads, which is great for um, embellishment like wrapping your presents, making jewelry, but in this case we use it as the hanging cord. So this is the hanging cord for our tassel, and this right here was, was made with the handy thread twister. So I'll show you how that works. So this is the handy thread twister here. There are actually two hooks on the top right here. So you would take the threads you like to use and just make a slip knot on one hook. And then you would use your other thread to make a slip knot on the other hook. And this would need to be the length required for your project. And you tie both threads together on one end, and now it's ready to start. Uh, ready to start twisting. So on the knotted end, you want to hold your threads apart, and on this side, we just start twisting. And you can twist about 50 to 60 times. Once that's ready, once that's ready, you want to make sure that your hooks are facing down, just like that. So then you would grab the knotted end, let go of the handy thread twister, and let your threads twist. Very easy, just like that. And then you're ready to take your threads off of the tool. And you can see that your thread stays twisted. And now since we're making this into a hanging cord for our tassel, we're just going to go ahead and loop that, make a knot on one end, just like that. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and place this in between our threads on the tassel maker. And I just kind of put that down in the middle just like that and you can see that I put it underneath the first layer right here. And you want to make sure that your knot is actually below the center and these triangles right here are markers for you to know where your center of your tassel is. So it all depends on what length, what size your tassel maker is set. This is uh, will depend on what triangle you use as a marker. 
So for us right now, we'd be using this large triangle right here. This would be our center. So I want to make sure that my knot is below that. Okay. So then you take another piece of thread, and this goes around the entire tassel. Let me tie them nice and tight. Just like that. So now our tassel is ready to come out of the frame. And to do that, you're just going to hold on to your center. And you would place your scissors along the top groove like this. And then on the bottom groove. Just adjust your threads a little so that your hanging cord is right here at the center, the top center, just like that. So the last few steps would be to create the head of your tassel, which would be uh, this area right here. You want to create a head of your tassel, and then we would just give it a quick trim. So to do that, we would just take our yarn. Just create a loop and I'm going to hold that with my thumb. Let's wrap it around the tassel. Once I'm ready to tie, be just like that. And then you would just snip off your ends. So you can see that when, since I created that loop in the beginning, really what it did is help me hide my knot. So you, you don't have a knot showing with your finished tassel. So the last part would be to, to trim off the ends if you wanted a nice clean even edges. And we use just a regular piece of paper and that's kind of used as a guide to help you to have a nice flat edge. So I'm going to just use my paper, bring it down to the end, cut along the bottom, and there's your tassel. That was Clover's Tassel Makers and Handy Thread Twister.